We have Shailesh Khandelwal who's called in now. Uh, Shailesh, how can we help you? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for looking into my case and uh, advising me on that. Uh, this is with reference to my last week's query where I told you guys that I was I was stuck up with a with a loan uh, with HDFC and the builder has ran away. So post my discussion with uh, you yes, uh, last week, I reached out to HDFC for a loan. And though it's on a very early stage, but I've explained my whole case to them and they would have, you know, and they've said that they would be looking into it. But my point and query is this. <clears throat> Let's assume they decide to give me a, uh, you know, home loan based on the merit of my case. Now, do they have it in their power to club my past home loan with a new home loan and on a later day may hold my new property as a leverage to force me to pay the old home loan? Okay, that's that's a very important question over there, uh, Karthik. Uh, just to bring our other viewers up to speed, now Shailesh had called in last week with a unique with a problem. Uh, essentially, what you know we've been advising viewers against uh, the 2080 schemes that's that right. uh, a lot of you, a lot of uh, developers are offering. Now he had entered into a tripartite agreement with HDFC, uh, Karthik, at that point in time, right. and. HDFC and the developer uh, were involved in this. That's right. And uh, now the developer has uh, essentially run away with the money. That's right. So uh, he's left holding the loan and paying off that loan, and he wanted to know what to do. And I remember you took a you took quite a contrary in view at that time, and you said that he should probably hold the bank or the HFC responsible. Absolutely. What do you say now? Absolutely. I mean, indeed, right? Because firstly, the project does not get approved till the time the housing finance company has done a thorough technical check on the sanctity of the project, the title clearances, and the fact that this project is fundable. Now, if they did not do that, or if there was a little bit of a problem in that, um, you know, then there is a huge amount of risk that the housing finance company itself is facing because they would have lent money to so many people like Salish, isn't it? So now, right, having signatories to that agreement. Also. Yes, absolutely. So that's where we took a stand that look, if nothing happens, the worst case scenario, your Sybil is going to get completely messed up and you're going to not get another loan from anywhere. So therefore, save your money because you might need that money somewhere else. There are lots of players in the market. If HDFC is happy to fund you and which they technically should, Remember, what's going to happen in the process, Salish, is you're going to have two assets, which you are also pretty clear about. And both these assets, now here's the interesting part, both these assets will have their own independent agreements of purchase. Likewise, they also have an independent agreement of mortgage. So which means, unless that agreement is specifically created to jeopardize the other property, and which does not normally happen. So one property, one asset. So for example, if you have, technically speaking, two home loans running, even with the same uh, lender, and if you're paying one, and if you're not paying the other one, they can actually seize the other property and you know sell it off and liquidate it and you know make their uh, uh, loan good, so to say. And your other loan, which you're you know, servicing pretty well, there they cannot do anything about it. So, so your fear of you know having these two things going together and they're not giving you that property may not be as uh, as as pronounced as you might think it to be. You will have to wait for a long time for the uh, you know for the land to sort of go to another developer. They develop they'll develop it and all of that will happen. So that's one property that you still have. At least you are having some sort of fractional ownership in the land. And on the other side, you'll have a proper house. So as long as you can afford the EMI, I think don't worry about it. Right. That's your answer there, Shailesh. Hope we've answered all your doubts. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.